Iran's newly unveiled Zubian air defense missile system marks a significant leap forward in the nation's military capabilities, earning comparisons to Israel's renowned Iron Dome. The Zubian is designed to counter a broad spectrum of low-altitude aerial threats, reflecting Iran's evolving approach to modern warfare. This domestically developed system underscores Tehran's emphasis on self-reliance in defense technology, particularly in the face of escalating regional tensions and the growing use of drones, cruise missiles, and other advanced aerial weaponry. One of the Zubin's most notable features is its high tactical mobility. Mounted on a 6x6 truck chassis, the system can be swiftly relocated to respond to dynamic battlefield conditions. Its 360-degree coverage ensures comprehensive protection against threats from any direction. According to data from the Iranian defense industry, the Zubin's radar can detect up to 100 targets simultaneously within a 30 kilometers radius, with an engagement range of up to 20 kilometers. Equipped with a vertical launch canister system that holds up to eight missiles, the Zubin can engage multiple threats at once, a critical capability in defending against complex and coordinated aerial assaults. The Zubin's deployment strategy reflects its strategic importance. Positioned around Tehran and other high-value locations, it serves as a cornerstone of Iran's air defense network. By focusing on countering drones, loitering munitions, and low-altitude aircraft, the system addresses a critical gap in Iran's multi-layered defense architecture. Drones and loitering munitions, which often operate in swarms and follow erratic paths, are effectively neutralized by the Zubin's multi-target tracking and rapid response capabilities. Similarly, the system's advanced radar and missiles are tailored to intercept cruise missiles, which pose a significant challenge due to their low-altitude flight profiles and high precision. In addition to countering drones and cruise missiles, the Zubin is capable of targeting helicopters, low-flying fighter jets, and even artillery shells within its engagement range. This versatility makes it an invaluable asset for protecting urban centers, military installations, and other critical infrastructure. By intercepting artillery shells and other projectiles, the Zubin enhances Iran's ability to defend against precision-guided munitions and close-range assaults, adding an extra layer of security to fortified positions. The Zubin's role in Iran's broader military doctrine is clear. By focusing on low-altitude threats, the system complements existing long-range platforms like the Bavar 373, creating a comprehensive, layered defense strategy. This approach aligns with Iran's emphasis on asymmetric warfare, where cost-effective and adaptable systems are prioritized to counter technologically advanced adversaries. The Zubin's deployment is a clear signal of Iran's intent to deter aerial incursions and assert control over its airspace particularly in light of increasing regional tensions and the proliferation of advanced weaponry. When compared to Israel's Iron Dome, the Zubin emerges as a system tailored to Iran's unique strategic needs and constraints. While the Iron Dome has proven its effectiveness in intercepting short-range rockets and artillery shells with a high success rate, its design is deeply integrated into Israel's advanced command and control infrastructure and benefits from extensive international support. The Zubin, on the other hand, represents a fully indigenous effort to address a broader range of low-altitude threats, including drones and cruise missiles. Although its operational effectiveness remains untested in real-world combat scenarios, the Zubin's capabilities suggest it could serve as a credible deterrent against potential adversaries. One aspect that sets the Zubin apart is its emphasis on flexibility and rapid deployment. The mobile nature of the system enables it to adapt to shifting tactical scenarios, an essential feature for addressing threats that evolve during conflict. This mobility contrasts with some fixed air defense installations, which can be more vulnerable to targeted strikes. Additionally, the Zubin's design philosophy aligns with Iran's broader push towards self-sufficiency in military hardware, reducing its reliance on foreign suppliers and mitigating the impact of international sanctions. 
The development of the Zubin also underscores Iran's growing focus on drone warfare. Drones have become a defining feature of modern military engagements, used extensively for surveillance, reconnaissance, and precision strikes. Iran's emphasis on counter-drone capabilities reflects its recognition of this shift, and the Zubin's ability to intercept multiple drones simultaneously positions it as a critical tool for defending against such threats. Moreover, the integration of the Zubin into Iran's air defense framework strengthens its ability to address asymmetric tactics where adversaries might rely on cost-effective but high-impact technologies like drone swarms. From a technical perspective, the Zubin's radar and missile systems represent a synthesis of indigenous expertise and lessons learned from previous air defense projects. The radar's capacity to detect and track up to 100 targets within a 30 kilometers radius is particularly noteworthy, providing a robust early warning system. This capability is complemented by the vertical launch missiles, which are designed for rapid response and high accuracy. The use of vertical launch technology not only enhances the system's operational flexibility, but also aligns with modern trends in air defense design, where rapid target acquisition and engagement are paramount. The Zubin's deployment around Tehran and other strategic areas highlights its role as a critical component of Iran's national security infrastructure. By prioritizing the protection of key urban and industrial centers, the system serves both a defensive and a deterrent function. The presence of advanced air defense systems like the Zubin sends a clear message to potential adversaries about Iran's readiness to defend its sovereignty. Additionally, the system's integration into Iran's broader air defense network ensures a coordinated response to complex and multifaceted threats. Comparing the Zubin to Israel's Iron Dome offers valuable insights into the differing strategic priorities of the two nations. The Iron Dome's success lies in its ability to intercept a high percentage of incoming projectiles, particularly those targeting civilian areas. This capability has been honed through years of real-world operational experience and significant investment in research and development. In contrast, the Zubin reflects Iran's focus on addressing a wider array of threats, including drones and cruise missiles, which are increasingly prevalent in regional conflicts. While the Zubin may not yet match the Iron Dome's proven track record, its introduction represents a significant step forward in Iran's defense capabilities. The geopolitical implications of the Zubin's development and deployment are also worth considering. As regional powers continue to invest in advanced military technologies, the introduction of the Zubin signals Iran's determination to remain a key player in the Middle East's security landscape. The system's emphasis on indigenous development aligns with Iran's broader strategy of leveraging domestic resources to counter external pressures. Moreover, the Zubin's capabilities could influence the strategic calculations of neighboring countries potentially prompting them to adjust their own defense postures. In addition to its defensive applications, the Zubin has potential implications for Iran's offensive capabilities. By neutralizing aerial threats and providing a secure operating environment, the system enables Iranian forces to conduct operations with greater confidence. This dynamic underscores the interconnected nature of modern air defense systems, which serve not only as protective measures, but also as enablers of broader military objectives. The Zubin's role in this context highlights its significance as both a tactical asset and a strategic tool. Looking ahead, the Zubin's impact on Iran's defense strategy will likely depend on its performance in operational settings. As the system is integrated into Iran's broader air defense framework, its effectiveness in addressing emerging threats will be closely monitored. Additionally, the potential for further upgrades and enhancements suggests that the Zubin's capabilities could continue to evolve, ensuring its relevance in an increasingly complex security environment.